Efforts to tackle Zimbabwe's deadliest cholera outbreak in a decade are being ramped. At least 20 people have died and another 2,000 are being treated for the diarrheal disease. The disease has spread rapidly. It has left at least 49 people dead and infected another 9,000 in the most recent Hilaria's outbreak. Hilaria's Glenview Township, the epicenter of the outbreak. There's a cholera outbreak here and the borehole that we have been using has been closed down, leaving us with no source of fresh water. We have no choice, but we might end up looking for water in those affected areas, and that way it'll be difficult to prevent more deaths. The city council has been struggling to supply water to some areas for more than a decade there now. There is need for a more sustainable and proactive manner if you take... Through funding from UNICEF and UNDP, Oxfam stepped in with interventions designed to reduce the pressures exerted by this cruel opening salvo of disease. Oxfam stepped in by doing door-to-door -door hygiene promotions to try and establish community health clubs. We're targeting the two uh, cholera hotspot suburbs of uh, Glenview and Budiriro targeting a total population of uh, 50,000 people. We had to build resilience. They had to know how to try and mitigate diseases such as cholera and other wash-related diseases so that at least they would maintain their health and well-being. But another issue that we noticed was that these communities did not have significant income. So we did a survey to try and understand the income generating activities that the community would like to be involved in. This is part of our community engagement strategy as Oxfam that we do everything that the community would like to be involved in, not to just impose what we believe that they would want to do. The Budiriro and Glenview residents came together to form groups which would venture into various income generating activities. These include manufacture of dishwashing liquid and soap, candle making, temperature bag manufacture, floor polish production, production and packaging of school stationery. Takatanga kuita ma projects, takatanga kubi kwa ma detergents, ma toilet cleaner, ma petroleum gel. Tino gazira floor polish, ye white, ye black, ye red. Tino gazira ma wonder bag, wonder bag, i bag iri no basi rapa kuti. This temperature bag is an ingenious energy conservation tool that addresses the current energy demands. The temperature bag also contributes towards a cleaner environment through recycling. We had several challenges with the project of making covers until such a time when the UNDP, in conjunction with UNICEF through Oxfam, we managed to get the assistance that we were starving to have. So we involved our government stakeholders and the private sector to try and establish what startup kits would be relevant and generate income in these projects. So you'd see some of our clubs in Budiriro and Glenview have already gotten those startup kits and are already starting to do their income generating activities. We received two machines. We also managed to get the packaging material for both plastic and khaki covers. We also got um, training for entrepreneurship. Yeah, Mauka wanda much. Eh. Ata ronge kachaisu. Tata disco to rogazu, my labels. Taskas is yes. 
Drugs are malay bozi. Chato this God before us already. So it's my SMEs. We have to back on. We have to say that we are okay. We pick and pay. Changat singa kwa ni seku gadira makendro ano kwa nama orders yenu isusu tangati ne mshini mumwechete yes next tapi wamita tu pamsoro pe mumwechete tare ne four saka pa four idozi ma orders yenu ati chama disappointa ne kuti tare ne photo zaka kura ati chama zogera sure tafu gadira show pe nyu yenu sasa juta kwa nsa kupiwa. Kitty, you could see God's red petroleum gel. Tuane Rara Moirina and Kurara Samurze, the place community where you benefit an ex. Oxfam, we are to pay machine or gusones. Name Shinda Zacho, Nima Futa machine. Nima Chira Ekusona, Acho Titi, Buste Basaredu, Tanga Tirukum Bosona, Tisina machine, Tita Kumbira, Yekuaya, Zichiti Durida, Imangu, Tishota Zagusona, Nukishai, Ipa, forty bags that appear as Ozi. Kura wakuti patino chengesa, tineta uto kuna kuwana kana 300, chayo mabegi. Tika kwa teknoloji ya wedra vatiri, wazi taimu, peke ramu shikabaze simpi, na uta anezu zi nyowa, saka zi zi nyoko fata oso. Kana gender based violence ya kusisina, tisu taimbo, tera wana baba, tina kwa bira mari, kana wakabuda sheshi. Saka yesu nyesu watibazi rota, tisha kwa nisa kudi, kwa bira mari, wakuto tikumbiro mari. Abasi sinu wakusiru waka garabarodi. Se group redu taka to gadira business plan e kuti upenyo wedu e mangu ana uchave ne kuti atis kuta sa kuti Oxfam e kange a enda tisha gumira ipapo even Oxfam ya enda tisha ramba tisha vandu zai fini neva na wedu varambe vachi vachi zidza ne kuti rusiwa ruga taka siri wane Oxfamu ndo ya na kaya wedu. Actually, we are looking for growth. We are going to grow. We received a grant from uh, UNDP through UNICEF to implement a project which seeks to build partnership for urban resilience in Zimbabwe. You know the resilience is she? Eh, you guiny so, you guiny so by she, Karamana, you guiny so, you are teaching a jay tick. Eh, eh, pan and pan is only one second and another. The main goal of the project was for us to find various ways in which we can create employment and um, opportunities for youth and the vulnerable people. Some of the key activities for the project included training community youth clubs on uh, <laughs> Maria do not see Tana forty years plus twenty bond. No, but I want a loan repayment. They do forty seven dollars. Tane one hundred and sixty years plus two hundred and three bond. Senzia Aruda thirty dollars. Such internal savings and a lending schemes provide a financial haven to members experiencing economic hardships, shocks, and pressures against a lack of access to funding by established financial institutions. Awina, to no querer Maria, to invest in my business, Edu, and to invest, to go to Kwanza, to buy drama fees, to to take a chica from Mumba, to buy drama rent house. The social fund has also been a pivotal support in absorbing financial shocks, economic hardships, and pressures faced within the Budiriro and Glenview communities under the Urban Resilience Program. Put the social fund. It will be there, and it. Kudito <laughs> Stresses and shocks do not only come from um, lack of income or livelihoods, but they also come from the environment, such as uh, lack of a clean environment, lack of uh, clean potable water on a daily basis. So as a result of that, Oxfam is put in a piped water scheme that ensures that communities have clean water on a daily basis. But more importantly, we've come up with an innovation that is a water kiosk that allows uh, communities to draw water, pay a reasonable price for that, for the system to be sustainable, so that they not only access water, but they ensure that in future, that um, 
access to water is sustainable. This is the first one in Zimbabwe. So we've managed to involve the youth by being water sellers in the Water Point community. agenda which is an agenda which is pursued by our council, the council of Harare, right now. So we also have our public pay toilet that is just adjacent to the Budiro One shopping center. So the marketers and vendors have indicated willingness to pay for the service of the toilet. And this will in turn generate income to the public pay toilet committee in maintaining sustainability of the project. By taking on this project and this approach of gendered enterprise marketing, uh, it will ensure that um, the whole issue of urban poverty is addressed through urban resilience. By that, we mean that we have provided the capacity to both women and men to be able to then withstand any shocks or stresses that might come as a result of any calamity. So we are very confident that um, these major objectives of, BT, of improving the capacity of communities to be resilient will be met by this approach. As this is a pilot, we are actually looking forward to harvesting very different outcomes that clearly show that urban resilience can be improved by taking this approach.